Hello everyone, my name's Kevin, and today I'm going to be showing you an app called Flexiglass for Mac. Now, if you've been following my Mac app series, I've been going through apps and just showing you guys what they do and where you can get them, and just apps that intrigue me. So, anyway, if you haven't seen any of those videos, I recommend you going back and watch them. I'll have links at the end of the video for them, but anyway, let's carry on with Flexiglass. Now, as you can see here, I have the preference window open, and there are a whole bunch of options you can choose, but the main feature is similar to Snap from Windows 7. Now, basically what this does is you can pull your windows, and it will resize them left to right, and you can kind of snap them to the side, so it just makes for, you know, easier maintenance of windows. So with that... With that feature aside, you can go ahead and do several other things, like if you were to right click the plus button, it makes the window the whole size of your monitor. Or if you were to right click the X, it will quit the application. So you'll notice that Chrome is quit and I'll have to restart it. So with that set aside, there are several other things, many other options inside of here, but I'm not really going to get into those because those aren't the main features. Now with all that put aside, you can get this app in the Mac App Store for approximately $8 I think, and it is a little bit pricey for just these features, but if you plan on utilizing the full potential of this app, I would recommend it to anyone, but if you're planning on just using it for the Snap feature, there are several other apps in the Mac App Store that you can take advantage of. So anyway guys, that's about it for this video, I'm just demoing these apps for you guys to try and maybe find ones you guys like. So with that set aside, I'm going to set a whole bunch of videos up on my desktop, and you guys can go ahead and go click them. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another one.